Alright, in this video we will discuss about the second fundamental theorem of calculus which roughly says that if we have a continuous function f then we have a function which is defined as an integral from a to x then we can talk about the derivative of that function and the theorem says that the derivative of that kind of function defined by integral is exactly the same function with the x variable okay let's look at some example how to apply this so suppose we have a function integral from 5 to x sine t squared dt and we want to compute the derivative of this function okay so what is the derivative of this function now let's look at what what the fundamental theorem of calculus says it says that the derivative of this function is simply that integrand with the x variable okay so here this guy is our f of t then what is our f of x Our f of x is simply the same function with the x variable. Okay, now look at the second example. So similar to what we did before, or before doing that, notice that the numbers here the number on the lower limit of the integral doesn't matter so as long as our function is continuous on that interval that number doesn't matter so you can start from 1000 1 million negative 5 negative 100 it doesn't matter okay so let's go back to the second example so here is our integral and we can try to do the same as we did before first we identify what is our f of t and here is our f of t and the theorem says that the derivative of this integral will be f of x which means we just need to replace the t by x we just need to substitute x for t so 1 plus x to the 4 raise x now look at the next example so now our function the integral that is defined by I mean the function that is defined by the integral is the integral from x to 3 so what is the difference between this example and the previous one on this example the lower limit of this integral is x meanwhile on the previous ones the x is in the upper limit of the integral so what is the difference then so notice that we can apply the fundamental theorem of calculus if the lower limit is a fixed number a certain number like 0, 1, 1 million, 1000 doesn't matter and on the top we have something with x variable to be precise on the statement of the FTC the upper limit need to be equals x so, in order to be able to apply 
the FTC, then we need to somehow rearrange the limit of the integration. And how we can do that? Recall that the integral from A to B of a certain function, say G, is the same thing as the negative of the same integral, I mean, integral of the same function with the limit is switch. So now it's from B to A. By using this property, we can force this integral so that the x appear in the upper limit. Okay, so we can rewrite the integral as integral from 3 to x negative e to the sine t dt. Notice that we exactly use this property. We just put the negative sign inside the integral. Okay. So now, once we succeed to write the integral where the x is on the top, then we can apply the fundamental theorem of calculus. Again, first we identify that is our f of t. Therefore, what is our f of x? Our f of x is simply substituting x for the t. So, in minus e raised to the sine x. Okay, take your time and try to understand that. Okay, now <clears throat> another variant of the same kind of problem. So what happens now if the upper limit is not simply x, but say x squared, like on this problem? So what is the derivative of this function? Can we just simply substitute x squared for the t? Well, in this case we can't because the theorem says that we need the integral from a certain number to x. Now how to deal with that? So first we need to force this on the top to be a simple variable like x, u, something like that. So first we let u equals x squared. Okay. Now we can use the chain rule. Okay. So d dx of this guy. Okay, let's put this here. U equals x squared. So now the derivative of that integral function is the same thing as the derivative from 3 to u Now if we put u instead of x squared this become a function of u so we can take the derivative with respect to the u variable and according to the chain rule this derivative is the same thing as the derivative of that with respect to u multiplied by the derivative of u with respect to x. Okay. Now, here we can use the fundamental theorem of calculus to this guy. So this guy is exactly our f of t similar to what we had before. So according to the fundamental theorem of calculus, the derivative of this is simply f of u.
what is f of u f of u is 1 plus u squared okay and then we multiply by the derivative of u u is x squared so the derivative of u is 2x now for the last step we just need to rewrite u in terms of x so square root of 1 plus x squared raised to the second power so x to the fourth times 2x okay let us review what we have done on this example so basically what we do is we substitute x squared for the t to get this expression so this is exactly f of x squared and then we multiply by the derivative of that upper limit multiply by okay. so next time we have similar problem like this we can use a shortcut which is substitute x squared for the t to get that expression and then we multiply by the derivative of whatever we have on the top okay let's try to do that for our next example all right so let's compute the derivative from negative 5 to sine x of one plus t to the four raised to the one third dt. Okay, remember what we did before? First we identify our f of t and according to what we did before to get the derivative of this function first we substitute that upper limit for the t so if we substitute sine x for the t we have 1 plus sine to the 4x raised to the 1 third and then the next step we need to multiply by the derivative of that upper limit so what is the derivative of sine x correct that's cosine x so we need to multiply by cosine x and we are done let's do one more example quickly so the derivative of this function is substitute sine x for the t so sine 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 x multiply by the derivative of the function on the top cosine x as simply as that i hope you enjoyed the video see you later on the next video bye bye